can you see this album that we're spotlighting? If you're playing at home, go get your album. Kung Fu <laughs> Fighting by Carl Douglas. And the actual, most people think it's only a 45, right? But I have the actual LP. Ooh. And you know the name of it? It's called Kung Fu Fighting and Other Great Love Songs. There you <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm not making that up. You can clearly see it says that there. So you didn't know that Kung Fu Fighting was a love song, did you, Stephen? <laughs> I know so now. So now you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about everything. This album came out in 74, so we're going to talk about everything 1974. What it was like growing up in 1974. What's the differences of parents in 1974 versus 2017? We're going to find out all that and more. So we're going to start it off with Kung Fu Fighting, of course, by Carl Douglas. And then we're going to play Come and Get Your Love by, does anyone know? Redbone. Very good. Good, Redbone. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back live from Dennis's house, 474 The Mix. That was Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas and Come and Get Your Love by Redbone. That was, I believe, the only Native American band ever. Oh. Is that true? Well, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I think, who else? What, what other bands were there? The Cherokee people. That was Paul sure. Revere in the Raiders. Oh. Yeah, they were I would assume they were, they were British. Indian. But they were singing about the Indians. He was talking yeah. about that. All right, so Gina, you have until the end of this show to prove me wrong, but I'm going on record right now saying Redbone is the only Native American band right. ever. So now we're going to talk about 1974, the year this came out. And <laughs> we were all about nine, ten years old, whatever we were, we were st- small stupid children and we're all from new york <laughs> actually so stupid. so we no, all no, no. have the same kind of experience right so right. so now basically back in 1974 parents didn't want anything to do no. with you basically they just <laughs> they, <laughs> they loved you and they just said get out of the house right. don't, don't bring your home. stupid friends over here <laughs> right. Right. And so they hated you and their friends right yeah. and your friends hated but you, they wanted friends you home for more. dinner though exactly yeah, right. and they didn't want the police involved at right. all or any neighbors That's coming correct. over complaining right. about anything my so, dad didn't that, know my name until I was about 10 <laughs> <laughs> yeah we had so many kids in that house. Like he, I, he used to call me the wrong name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you? My grandmother and mother used to do that, too. They'd go through the whole Rolodex before they got to you <laughs> yes, when they were yes. mad oh, and yeah, yelling at you. Oh, yeah, my name is from an Italian family, so my <laughs> yeah. real name is Gina. My nickname is Gina. Don't ask me. My mom called me Gina, but grandpa... What? What's your real name? My real name is Janine. Janine. Oh, yes, okay. Right. But they always called me Gina. There you go. Italian family. Why are you naming me Janine? French name. Go figure. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> so there was cousin Denise. So Grandpa Angelo, Janice, <laughs> never got my name right to the day he died. Janice. So they told you to go outside, and then the neighborhoods looked like it was kind of like Lord of the Flies. There was hundreds of kids running yeah. rampant yeah. Yeah. through the streets, and you could do whatever you want, but you have right? To remember, yeah. there were, you know. We lived in small houses. Not right. we didn't have these sprawl. I mean, some we of the people's land. kitchens <laughs> right. on, was the size of the apartment. That, I grew up in. So, yeah. it's like, right. you know, you're playing uh, in your mother's bedroom. And, that's it. You know, uh, and that's just. Get outside. Yeah, right. So it was just like, you know, <laughs> eight years old, I recall doing the craziest stuff. You're oh, out, yes. you know, first thing in the morning. Well, like on a Saturday. Saturdays oh, yeah. were the best. Now Cartoons. let's talk about Saturdays. Oh, yes. What was the ritual on Saturday mornings? Yes. Cartoons. Cartoons first. Yeah. Right? And what else? What were you doing while you... Cereal? Yes. Yeah. A bowl yeah. of cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Usually box. Captain Crunch. <laughs> yes. 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 My mother and I beating each other up over it. I was oh, not wow. allowed. And then to digging it. down at the bottom of the box to get the prize yeah, before him. Yeah, the prizes him. were the best, yeah. too. That, oh, that was my a challenge. God. Yes. Remember right. the prizes? When you had a lot of kids. How many kids were in your family, There though? was five. There was All right, five. I have five, too. Oh, so wow. by the time oh, yeah. you get to the Ridiculous, prize right? and the cereal, you get it. Usually the cereal's all dumped out as soon as the box comes out and someone takes it. Yeah. So, uh, so are you saying, Cha Cha, you did not get to eat cereal? No, we oh. were only allowed to have cornflakes and Cheerios. But at Halloween, we were allowed to go to the store and we were each allowed to get our own box. And I usually got blueberry, oh, blueberry, <laughs> <laughs> yes. chocolate, Count chocolate. Count chocolate. <laughs> Remember fruit, right. fruit? He was yes. around back in the day. Yeah. Was the strawberry. He was the wolf. Frankenberry. That's it. Frankenberry. Yeah. And yeah. that was it. We were not allowed. <laughs> We had Rice Krispies and Cheerios. Wow. Oh, healthy See, mind and that's parents. what I'm saying about her being uh, abused. Chacha, did you put sugar on that, though? I used to put that it was on the thing Rice Krispies. Yeah, sugar on Rice Krispies? Yeah. 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 Like, that's and what my cousins taught me that trick. 
<laughs> right. But Cheerios, no. Mm-mm. But absolutely, when you got the cornflakes, you put sugar. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. So it was almost like it. There was no frosted flakes. Wasn't that frosted flakes? flakes? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, you, you made your own frosted flakes, flakes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. you know, That was we, the, the yeah. ghetto version of frosted yes. flakes. <laughs> so. I did not grow up in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. And I remember, like I said, crazy stuff. Leaving early in the morning in the summer, coming back late at yeah. night, maybe yeah. coming back for dinner, yes. then going back out. Yeah. And Because right. the statute of limitations is over. So now I'm going to <laughs> confess <laughs> something I did. I was the youngest one. And that was the thing. There was kids of all ages from my age up to 18, 8 to 18. Right. And they were all rotten, you know, future criminals yes. and yeah. uh, convicts. So I remember this one time we left early in the morning and we went like a mile away there was these factories and it was closed on this day it must have been i guess a, a weekend then because this factory was closed so we broke into the factory <laughs> and we stole stuff they had like all these different things Dennis. and you know, like i said i was only eight so i was just there and you know yeah, yeah. i didn't take anything home because my parents wouldn't have allowed that there was other derelict kids i was with whose parents embraced the fact that they home. Stuff home. <laughs> <laughs> there was like furniture and stuff like that wow. i remember so we made multiple trips and it was like a mile away so we had these <laughs> carts and stuff carrying all this furniture nobody said a word oh <laughs> no and then we go back make another trip pile up more oh, stuff and keep going nice, so very my nice. parents never knew <laughs> and That's it's just awesome. insanity what went on but you had like the best said. forts i would assume yes, with absolutely. all that furniture you know and then, a leather you know, couch yeah very nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's awesome uh, crazy, that's a crazy score stuff. that's a, yeah that's, that's, that's great. great and that was just one of the many crazy obscene stuff going on at this age so uh did you notice that you're always wrong as well that <laughs> parents other parents if they said anything about you that was your fault. You did it. Teachers said anything about yeah. you. Oh, you got hit yeah. first. Right, exactly. Yeah. Then, totally uh, got hit oh first. My God, that was That's another difference, too, thing. where yeah. right. I know friends that are teachers. My wife is a teacher. It's it's ridiculous. It's, right. It's the uh, teacher's always wrong dead. now, teachers right? Teacher's yeah, always yeah. wrong. They're always on the calls. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But back then, that was it. And anybody said it. A priest, uh, you yeah. know, a oh, convict, yeah. anybody. Charles Manson <laughs> came over and said, your kid is out of line. Your parent would slap you and say, and thank, you, Manson. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Manson. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Manson. It won't happen again. (laughs) See, but the difference was, too, that (laughs) we were always lying, too, because (laughs) yes, one one example I have, it was Halloween, right? And we egged the neighbor's house with eggs, right? right? And he came over the next morning and said that he was watching me do it, and uh, he saw me. And I was denying it. I said, he's crazy. I never, I have no (laughs) idea what he did. Of course I did it. Uh, He he saw me doing it, but I was saying, no, that wasn't me. He didn't have a cell phone. He had nothing to film you with. And your mother believed you? Well, yeah, you know, you know, not really, but he couldn't do anything. It was my father, and he couldn't really, you know, he he made me go in the house, but it wasn't punishment and stuff because there was no tangible evidence, but he (laughs) he believed the guy anyway over me, of course. That my mother always would believe me. My father would be like, Don't you understand? This kid is a liar. I like that. I like that. He was right every time. But just like you said, that yeah, I would lie. Yeah, Yeah, it was great. Yeah, would they would call us liars right to our face (laughs) and just (laughs) things. They would all be in jail right now if it was. Yes. Oh, totally. If they acted this way, most parents would be in jail. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, you're gonna deny that, Caroline. Let's hear the story about the time your mother came after you with a chair. Fun. And my father grabbed it before she could break it over me. Wow. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to have to take a break now, play some music. And, of course, like I said, 1974 was Stephen's year. Yes. This was his music, his time to shine. Yeah, really. So I now we're going to play two of Stephen's favorites, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to play Billy Don't Be a Hero yes. by Bo Donaldson yeah. and the Haywoods. And then we're going to play Stephen's all-time favorite song, <laughs> Seasons in the Sun by Terry, Terry Jack, nice. both from 1974. So, uh, yeah, now it's time to talk about Carl Douglas and anything you want to interject about 1974, feel free, because there's not that much to talk about this album. <laughs> <laughs> but surprisingly, there's but it's a other love song. songs on it. Yes, yeah, oh, other love songs. Right. Now, originally, Kung Fu Fighting was the 
B-side. The song that they were recording, Carl Douglas, his real name was Colton Douglas, and he's from Kingston, Jamaica. He's oh. Jamaican. Ooh. Bellows Jamaican, too, you know. <laughs> Jamaican yeah, me oh crazy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, he's from Jamaica. Down. And <laughs> they, the song, uh, it's called, where is this song? Uh, I want to give you my everything oh. that they thought this was going to be the big hit, right? So they recorded this song, I want to give you my everything, and they needed a B-side. So he had these like ridiculous lyrics scrolled down and they said, "All right, let's just record this. Let's make it a goofy song, you know." So they recorded it and Next thing you know, Damn. it was the single, and uh, it sold 11 million copies. Awesome. It was one of the best-selling singles of all time. Wow. I so, had it. Vicky bought it for me. Right. So I don't know when this album came out, but they put all, I guess it was after that it had success. Then they made an then album made with the all album. these songs. Because, you know, <laughs> did you know there was other Kung Fu songs on here, <laughs> yes, too? Yes, that that me, did. Let me I name the songs. Let me name the songs. Right. So He's it's Kung Fu. I didn't Kung either. Fu I thought it was just a single. <laughs> Let me tell you the names of the songs on here Kung Fu Fighting, of course, Witch Find the General, When You Got Love. Changing Times, I Want to Give You My Everything. And here's the other smash kung fu song, Dance the Kung Fu. <laughs> Dance the Kung Fu. Was that so, just an instrumental? No, no. Uh, uh. Never <laughs> had this dream before. I don't care what people say. And Blue Eyed Soul, which was an instrumental, which oh. they say the guy at the end, the producer, he wanted a career of his own. So he just jammed this song on here that it was his song because <laughs> Blue Eyed Soul, this guy, Jamaican guy, singing the song. Oh, yeah. Blue-eyed Soul, right? <laughs> Right? So oh and his, <laughs> you ever see him like on Soul Train? He's always wearing like the silk kimono with the headband. Right. Yes. yes. He's always doing karate moves. <laughs> <laughs> he was obsessed with kung fu. <laughs> now I don't know if it was big in your neighborhood, but where I came from, and especially in the ghetto, kung fu was huge during this time in '74. Yeah. Sure. It really was. Yes. Everybody was actually kung fu fighting. Caroline. <laughs> I don't know if there was in yeah, Atlantic Beach, but in the ghetto, we were all kung fu fighting. Fighting. Until, of course, <laughs> and we all had to have noon ch- nunchucks, yes. right? And try to do no, it like that, Bruce yeah, Lee. Bruce chucks. Lee, everybody loved Blue Bruce yeah. Lee. But the problem was, as soon as you got your noon nunchucks and you didn't know what you were doing, you'd whack yourself in the nads, yes. and that would be the end of your yes. nunchuck life. So remind me life. again how you saved me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was all, was Kung Fu actually on television at that time too? Yes, Kung ah. Fu the show oh, with David right. Carradine, David Carradine. Right. Oh, so, which never yeah. made sense to me because they would say, "If it wasn't for this Chinaman, it's causing trouble." I'm like, what Chinaman? <laughs> he said, the guy was born in California. Why, I, I never, you know what I'm talking about? Exactly. They, they would call him like that he was the and, troublemaker. And I think it was so bad that they actually put tape on his eyes yes, to make yeah, him look or, a little yes, Chinese. They definitely did really something, Chinese? yeah. David Carradine, of course no, he's no. not Chinese. Yeah. No, no, his whole family's like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Completely yeah. American. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to know who he is? David Carradine, yes. He's a huge, uh, famous actor. He was in Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. He was oh, Bill. Oh, he was Kung good. Kung Fu. He was yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he had a lot of uh, Kung Fu experience. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, and uh, that was it, really. that It was one of the greatest one-hit wonders of all time. Yeah. yeah. And you haven't heard much <laughs> from Carl Douglas but since then. you don't then. have to. I know. That that's the it. beauty. Yeah. And right, that if he played his card right and he wrote that song... He and you know, his manager didn't the steal the money. Right, right. right. He, he could he loaded. could have a lifetime career. He's million. actually wow. still alive, so I should look him oh, up. Awesome. I would love to speak to yeah, him. you should call yes. him. Then. Call Douglas. That would be awesome. Yeah. Remember on every TV show, they'd be talking about guys doing the karate, and that they would say, "My hands are so lethal." <laughs> <laughs> license with the right. FBI yes. and the police. Yes. 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 And I'm wondering, did anyone ever go to the police and say, I'd like to license <laughs> yes. my, my hands? hands. I'd like to register my hands, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that never happened. That's, I never thought about that. Or we should do that, yes. Bello. Yes. I, I want a follow, uh, camera crew Ooh, following yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the cops tase you. <laughs> you can't get out. Get out of here. That reminds me of an episode, me an episode of Cops. There was this drunk guy, and he was uh, fighting with the cops, and he was threatening them and being a jerk to them. They wanted to arrest him. And he said, all right, I, I got a choice for you, cops. You can have the right hand, which will send you to the hospital, or the left hand that will send you to the cemetery. Oh, your choice. No. Right. And then the cop takes out his taser. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the guy drops and he's yelling oh, and screaming. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. Oh, <laughs> it was I the funniest thing I ever saw on cops. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God they didn't have those in the seventies. They would have cops would have been blasting people left and right. That's oh. yeah. See, that was another thing. The yeah. cops too. They yes. could do whatever they wanted yes. to oh, you. That's and true, that's if you went true. to your parents to complain right. about it, right. you get it. Yes. You get yeah. double. Right. The cop would hold you while your but mom it, beat yes. you. Very but true. it was nice that they would punch in the stomach and let you go home. You know what I mean? Exactly. That would happen to us. The rich would yeah, yeah, line yeah. us up, punch us in the stomach. <laughs> now get out of here. And we, you know, we crawl they home. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And That's if you had thing, stuff, yeah. yeah, if you were doing something yes. you shouldn't be that was, right. had illegal yeah. substances, yes. mm-hmm. they would spill it out or right. they'd drop it out right. and they'd right. say, go home, go you know? Home. Yeah. Uh, that, that was the good old days. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I never got in trouble by the police, though. Uh, yeah. Very yeah. nice. I should hope not. Yeah, no. Fellow, I'm sure, was uh, regular. <laughs> That's, That's yeah. true. That's a bad thing when the police uh, know you by name. Yeah, <laughs> right. right, right. They were very good to us, I must uh, say. Yep, good guys. Yep. It was fun time to be alive. Yeah. Fun time. You see all the struggle, kids, what we had to go through. We paved the way for you. We were the pathfinders, if you will. And, of yeah. course, the number one struggle of all time is that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer only came out once yes. a year. And if you <laughs> that, was wow. Wow. that was big. Wow. And oh, Gina's Jesus mom would no drag her out shopping. shopping. Oh, <laughs> yes. That? I remember Friday Gina nights. saying that. That's oh, it. no. Cried like a baby. And I yeah. had to wait for the summer reruns. <laughs> Way before yes. the, the VHS oh, right. or whatever, oh, right? Yeah, exactly. No wow. <laughs> yeah, we're time to wrap up the show now. And we're going to play some more songs. We're going to play Dance the Kung Fu by Carl <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> And then we're going to play Rock On by David Essex. Another great oh, song. Yes, that is a great, yeah, great, yeah. great, great song. 1974, oh, absolutely. I was on Wonder Rama in the 70s. Oh, oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, no, really? you awesome. thought you could keep this from us. Why didn't All right, we're putting the show on hold. Let's go. Tell us this story. Linda's uh, bagel on the street. Wonder Rama, Bob McAllister. Nice. Of course. Right? Yes. Sonny Fox was the first. But my mom got tickets for Wonder Rama. And me, Lisa Gashione, my brother, and Kim Gashione, four of us went in the studio and David Essex was singing. Oh my God. Oh my God. And if I can find that on YouTube, I think there's a shot of me and my little friend Lisa in the audience. I have got to find that. that. But I have the 45 with his autograph. Oh man. That is great. You couldn't bring that to the show. We need this. Next show. Yeah, next show. show. Bello, next show, you got to stop at Gina's and help her find her 45. (laughs) I forgot. I, I did a commercial Get out. Golden's Mustard. What? I swear to God. With Joe Namath. Joe Namath. I swear to you. (laughs) All this stuff coming out the last minute. I know that. I was in a commercial with Joe Namath. Up in football. We got to hear this. Hold on. He's in a commercial with Joe Namath. And it was about. Go ahead. Stop at the beginning. Go back. My father coached at Joe Namath football camp. And. Somehow they were filming a commercial for Golden's Mustard, and I got to be one of the five kids that was in the commercial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And what'd you say? I mean, just, just looking at y'all like this. <laughs> and I, had long, I was awesome. I was. Awesome. And then they told us when it would be on. You know, we couldn't tape it. Enough. No. So it would be on ten thirty on Sunday nights before the R Cup and all that. Oh, and it, yeah, and it was awesome. You, you watched know? it, and, I, oh, and it awesome. I still can't find it. I've been oh, googling geez. it for. 15 years. You and know actually, what I mean? Stephen did have a line. He said to Joe Namath, Hey, Joe, don't be dindy with the mutted. <laughs> 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 oh, that was the guy who hit the lottery. Oh, that's hilarious. So then I have a story, too, that I was in the remake of Gone with the Wind. Oh, with there we go. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm making that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> we right. are out. See you next time. Let's hear it for us. Peace out. Yes. Woo! Peace out. Awesome.